Uh, my name is Matea Nagude. I'm a researcher with a sociological background and I work at the Social Protection Institute of the Republic of Slovenia, uh, which was founded by Ministry of Social Affairs, Work, uh, Equal Opportunities. Um, uh, and uh, the main field uh, where we operate are the family and children, disability protection, social affairs, and in recent decade also very active in the field of long-term care, which is also my main field of work. How would you explain what you do to a lay person? Huh, we, hmm, uh, we are somewhere in between practice and policy, let's say. So we are trying to, to figure out what is going on in the practice, how the, let's say, services are implementing and effective the users using different qualitative and quantitative techniques like questionnaires, interviews, focus groups and on that basis we try to evaluate the situation and try to recommend uh, policy implications, so guidelines for the policy makers. What would you say are currently the three main policy priorities for long-term care in your country? Mm, first of all, I would say that we need to introduce a law on long-term care because currently we don't have a unique system in this field so the services of long-term care are very fragmented um, uh, coordinated within different subsystems like health, social care and so on so I would say that this is the first priority and it has been in Slovenia we were, tr we were trying to adopt a new legislation for more than 10 years now. Uh, the second one would be uh, fostering home-based uh, services and uh, the speed up the process of the institutionalization because Slovenia has a really strong tradition in institutions uh, in the field of care for elderly, let's say. Uh, the home care uh, homes for elderly are quite good developed and widely spread on the other side, the services uh, delivered at the home of the users are not so uh, pluralized and widespread. So the second one would be certainly to foster the home care based services. And another thing is uh, the third one, uh, to speed up or to uh, speed up the process of coordination between services. This all priorities are of course connected with each other, so as I mentioned, the services are fragmented and uh, that's uh, and the consequences that they are not well coordinated between each other, so uh, this would be certainly the third thing I would suggest or see as a, as a policy priority. Mm -hmm. What extent do you think these priorities have changed in the last five years, if they have at all? I would say that they didn't. So. If you have an opportunity to introduce one new long-term care policy in Slovenia, what would it be and why? Yeah, like I already mentioned, this would be introducing a new legislation that would organise the system in a systematic way. So, yeah, that's... In terms of research priorities, what do you think is an outstanding piece of research on long-term care that needs to be carried out in Slovenia? Um, yeah, now we are in a in a period that uh, we can pilot a lot and uh, at the moment I think it's necessary to, to pilot, to try all new tools, methods, processes that, would, uh, that could be used in a new uh, s uh, system, like uh, when introducing new laws, so I think this is the priority and then uh, do all the researches and evaluation of these uh, proposed, uh, suggested tools and methods and uh, the whole process of the new system. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. I'm looking for a number in response from 1 to 10, where 1 is low and 10 is high. So what policy priority is allocated to long-term care in Slovenia? 8. How aware is the general public in your country of what the long-term care system offers to them? Well, I would say three. Mm -hmm. 
How well does the system support people with long-term care needs? Five. And how well does the system support the needs of carers? Two. How integrated are social care and healthcare services in Slovenia? Two. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you. Thank you.